Alright, welcome back. Beowulf Nation, it's on Beowulf. Back at it with a Kawasaki SXR 1500 stand up jet ski video. And it's right before dusk. I forgot my shark band at home because it was on the Yamaha. I thought I grabbed everything. And that's, I had a feeling in my left, like, man, I forgot something. Usually when I had that feeling, I forgot something. <laughs> it's so frustrating. But out here in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina going on the Atlantic Ocean right before dusk. Not to jinx or get myself nervous, which it wouldn't work against them anyways. Uh, last time I was here and the video had been already up, I had a great white shark in front of me, distance away between me and a fishing boat. So hey, even though shark bands is that their bands don't even work against great white sharks because they come in behind you so fast. But hey, Let's go in shark infested waters with my only line of defense with me, so who cares? If you're new to the channel, now I'm quickly putting these gloves on. If you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe button. Existing subscribers hit the bell notification. Reddit! But also a cool thing, I'm giving away free Bitcoin on my giveaways. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, comment the video in the comment at the bottom, your Bitcoin wallet. To receive money, there's a wallet ID number which you put then in your comment, and I'll pick a random person at the end of the month, monthly from here on out. Like literally we'll have a couple minutes to rip but at least I got out it was actually on the way here a car that rolled over it was upside down in the middle of the middle of the intersection so I'm lucky to be getting out make sure she starts up here we go man I haven't been on this thing for oh man I think like two months I've been on this thing for a while it's, a, it's like riding a bike after a while once you get used to riding it yeah, this is riding this thing is is nothing like riding uh sit down jet ski. Yeah, at least we got a little bit of light. We're not gonna be going too adventurous today, but hey, I at least want to get out. It's, it's about what 70 degrees. So it's somewhat I guess somewhat warm. Just did a video recently of a second oil change this thing got, so nice and clean, fresh oil, fresh oil filter, run that royal purple, full synthetic, that thing is nice. So there's some big plans what I want to do, options what I want to do with this, which give or take the videos might be already up before this video comes up with this, but if not there'll be some like big news of like multiple videos of options I'll be doing with this just to figure out what I want to do. Go a little faster. We don't got minutes to be just sitting here.
happy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Uh, I've been on the flex, that's flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. My line busy, take no calls. Feels like I don't have no flaws. Snakes in the grass, cut those off. Yo, squad, shady, my bros rock. No breaks, we go, 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 go. Don't shade, that's a no, no, no. Go high, go low, low, low. Like spinning in a 644. Cash money like 504. Ball like AD24. No sleep, need more, more, more. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car, I'm the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car, I'm the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I'm a real one, my day one.
Chances there's sharks as of right now. That's what's going in so fast. I'm thinking to myself, I saw they were. Uh, so they're feeding these pelicans. I'm thinking, like, oh, I guarantee you, there's sharks. At the end of the day, of fishing people throwing whatever scraps. Yeah, there's. Man, do you guys see all that fish that were jumping out? I couldn't. Sometimes it happens so fast, you just see something, but. I thought something big jumped out right next to me. Probably was a fish, I don't know. It's just like in the corner of your eye, you see something. But like I said, last time I was here, right at the end, that I saw a great white shark. So I'm thinking the whole time, when you're so low on the ground and I have the shark band on my ankle, so like when you come in here and this is no wake, your feet are in the water. All it takes is something comes up behind you. There's this whole video, I saw this killer whale going after a sea dew RXPX. Like almost topped it over. And I've seen all these videos in the wild with grizzly bears like charging cars in the wild. I'm thinking, man, I've been hit before tapped with sharks. But I've been next to a bull shark here and being at a dusk and my only line of defense. When I was coming back in, I'm like, all these fish are jumping out because something's chasing after them the whole time. I'm thinking, man, get back. You don't have any protection because the magnet disrupts their. Uh, they go by electricity of detecting stuff and with a magnet will be like the last second detour of possibly being attacked for sure stops tiger sharks and bull sharks which are here 
does not work against great, great white sharks. There's literally nothing that will protect you of that. But uh, yeah, she's just like how I remember. It's kind of good not riding all the time because it was like got back in and it's just, you kind of have this glued in of what you have to do. I was a little worried coming out, not riding for a while, just remembering everything. And then once you get a hang of it, it's pretty easy. Um, especially with these, these boots are surfing boots, but they're for extreme cold weather. And you do get a little bit more like feeling with your foot, like rolling, that you feel more like barefoot, but grip on your bare feet is basically the best way to describe these. They're super hard to get off, but they do work. And when I used to live in the Midwest and I had my Sea-Doo Speedster 150 supercharged boat, this is what I used because being it was fall and it was cold, uh, that's what I would ride. I luckily had these and they work. Um, for jet skiing, I guess so basically I have three different boots. Um, these are ones for the coldest climate, but they're not that comfortable walking like on the surface and stuff. <sighs> That's a rush. I'm telling you, you come out here and it is just, your heart's pounding the whole entire time. It's not knowing what's underwater, it's just the whole thing. You get to dodge these massive fishing boats. I had no clue what those two fishing boats were doing and they have like huge wakes. Cause I've seen all these videos or people talking, not videos, people talking, like if they get too much air with this, things get disconnected and the ski just stops. Well, if that happened, nobody's out there. That would suck. That would really suck. That, that wouldn't kind of suck. That would be like, oh, terrible. Yeah, but it's a real big plus having the storage too. And then this is in my Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash iron bay we'll sing with the tie down and, uh, yeah i'm telling you that's a lifesaver but this for stand-ups this is why this one is the ultimate stand-up because you can actually go places if you don't live on the water which a majority of people buy these don't live live on the water that was a fun ride i don't know people in the past that tie up alongside not out there there's nowhere to tie up right when you're coming in I don't know where people think it's like you come right in to the boat ramp to bring in the jet ski before tying up. There's nowhere to tie it up on the side rails there. I know what I'm doing. I don't need anybody telling me what to do. I come out here so much, I can almost do this with my eyes closed. It's real easy when somebody could type something to be physically actually doing it. Everybody could say whatever they want, but if you're not here doing it, man. It just doesn't matter. It's so much fun. I can't believe it. It's like you get a little time out there, totally fun. That's probably like my best jet ski for fuel consumption. It's like it, they, you, each time you fill it up, you're just putting like maybe a gallon and a half worth of fuel. It's pretty wild. It's like you spend just a, like what, 106 bucks, not even that, to fill it up. Good stop me. Walking on these rocks, man, you feel them. These boots, oof, hurts your feet. I don't think it hurt as much walking out there, but walking back in, man, your feet are so sensitive. They always kind of look like um, like ninja shoes or something, like samurai shoes, I guess. But what they look like with the toe, keep your feet super warm. They're definitely not boots you use in the summertime. You just be, well, unless your feet are wet, but they're not typical water shoes. They're their most coldest boots that O'Neill makes. And they're, they're on the Amazon store too, amazon.com slash shop slash I'm Beowulf. Oh man, I'm so glad I got to get out, go out. Yeah, tomorrow's Thursday, so it's been warm again. Finally, it's warming up here. So I'm gonna take the Yamaha GP 1800R SV Joe out. So I was like determined today, the stand-up had to go out, no matter what. The only thing is like, these are O'Neill, these are their super cold temperature gloves. Uh, the other ones I wear, Remember the Yamaha are a lot thicker and a lot warmer, but it's hard when you're like that throttle is like you got to control the throttle just to keep yourself standing up and it's super hard riding with these. They keep your hands warm. That's more important, but there's definitely times when you're holding the throttle. I think majority of the time I was going like top speed with the ski, literally 80%, we'll say 85% of the ride was at full top speed of what the ski does. Just holding the throttle down. The hard thing when you got these goggles on, 
they're so tinted like some of those waves come in here like you can't even see them in that ski now you go flying off a couple times i went a little forward with my chest because it's like you're going and all of a sudden you're like those big boats there's just waves everywhere going with them this is a trident wave trailer brand new 2020 well, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Existing subscribers, hit the bell notification. You get notified as soon as the video is uploaded. Check out my Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash I'm Beowulf. Check out the I'm Beowulf merch at I'm Beowulf.com. Be driven to win. Remember every day is Earth Day. Stay mighty and keep strong.